in today's video, I'm doing another dip technique. In my last dip technique, um, someone mentioned some colors like blues and purples along with a gray background. I mixed up a really light gray for my background and I'm going to try it out. So I grabbed my uh, pre-mixed colors. I have two shades of blue, a dark purple, and a little bit of yellow and white for my flowers. And then like I said, I have my light gray that I mixed up with a little bit of titanium white, Mars black, and just my Sergeant Art gloss medium and water. Um, this is a little different than what I normally do. I wouldn't have thought of these colors together, especially with that gray background, but this turned out really nice. If you want to check out my previous balloon dip technique, uh, you could check out video 568. That one I used yellow, orange, red, and pink, and it turned out really, really well. So I'm glad that I'm doing a slightly different color palette this time, and I'm just using a sponge brush to smooth it out and get a really nice even coat. Uh, I could still see some of the lines from the sponge brush, so I put a little bit more paint on my canvas and then tilted it to get a more even coat. Um, I did this because I wasn't using using a hairdryer to blow my paint out or another technique with the dip technique and having so much negative space on the canvas, I didn't want there to be a lot of lines from my sponge brush. But I'm just starting out by putting uh, my middle color down, just a little bit of the yellow. And then I'm going to add some white and I'm just using a small amount. I don't want that white to overtake the yellow. And then I'm using a little bit of a light blue right around my other colors. And then a slightly darker blue. I believe this was an ultramarine blue and it's beautiful, especially blended in with those other colors. And then my last color is a dark purple. Instead of using a balloon, I really like using a nitrile glove for mine. I like the shape and the design that turns out for the dip. So as you can see, I have a big pile of gloves that I will be using to dip my colors. So I just blow up the glove and just hold that end closed. and then just gently dip right in my colors. And you can just take the glove and wipe the paint off uh, and just reuse that same side or just flip it over like I did. Once I had each of my flowers dipped, I used um, the leftover paint on the glove and just did a couple of small dips on the canvas for a little extra embellishment. As you can see, there's not enough paint on the glove to get a really nice full flower, uh, but you can get some nice little additions to your piece. And you can do as many or as few flowers as you want. I decided to do one more right there um, where I still had some space in between a couple of others. Thank you. 
you guys enjoyed watching this video. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Um, I really like doing these dips. If you want to see more, again, let me know what colors you'd like to see. I'm always open for suggestions on new color palettes. They always give me some fantastic ideas. Or if there's other techniques that you'd like to see, let me know. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications. I do put out three videos a week and I will see you in the next one.